All right, cool. So uh, I'm making this video to explain real quick. Um, the thing with uh, Sony and PSN and that, you know, Sony at first was going to close PSN down for the Vita and PS3 and now they're not, but they're still closing it for the PSP, which let me remind you as a quick side note, they were, they were going to do that years ago for the PSP, but they didn't do it. Um, what I'm here to tell you is, you know what? It's perfectly safe to, you know, hack your consoles, honestly. And the reasons are worth it. Um, I'm going to link down in the description. There's a quick side note thing. Uh, wow. Yeah. As a real quick thing to mention, um, down in the description, I'm going to have all the links to the guides and tutorials that you need to. Oh boy. You need to. Um... Wow. Why am I brain farting in this? <laughs> to hack your uh, Vita, all the guides that you need and what plugins and so on and so forth and more or less what order to do it in. Um, the, the, the first thing I want to mention the reason why it's worth doing is because here, as you can see, this is the game card slot, right? So if I open it, well, if I can get it open, you know, if I can get it open. Oh, why is this game card slot being so difficult? <laughs> there we go. That's an adapter in there. And it's a micro uh, card adapter uh, to SD. This is uh, this is basically what replicates what the size of a game card is supposed to be. This is a 256 gigabyte uh, micro SD card in there, and I have like 48 gigabytes left or something like that. 46, I think. So let me throw that back in there. Wow. Turn this back on real quick. And the other thing I want to show you. Hopefully everything's working in this scene. Oh, sort of. Uh, oh boy, why do things have to be difficult? Okay. I didn't realize I was having some technical difficulties. There we go. Okay, cool. Sound's still coming through. So, the nice part, once you have the Vita, your Vita, your Vita either soft modded, meaning that if it's soft modded or halfly modded, um, you, you can only do Vita games as backups. If you have your Vita fully hacked, you can do everything. PSP, PlayStation 1, and Vita games. And the nice thing about that is once it's fully hacked, you can have access to the actual PSP emulator on the Vita, which is nice because then you get to play all the PSP games and PSX games. And in case if you're wondering how I'm capturing all this, I'm doing this by USB, actually. This is all running off the Vita. So as you can see, because as, you, as most people know, there is no... Uh, there is no HDMI out for the Vita, real quick. So just to show you, no, there's no hack. There's no, no, no. It's all being done through this cable right here. That's the data cable, which is connected to my laptop. And this is the audio jack. This is how I get the audio to go through to the uh, recording. Let me switch back over. You know, yeah, 47 gigabytes left of space. Anyway. You know. This is one of the perks to having the Vita fully hacked. And the other reason why you may want it fully hacked is so here's the Vita. So I'm going to put it down. As you can see, it's still there. I can still touch it. With, right. Now, the other nice thing is if I switch to my main camera, you can see here, this is a PS4 controller, right? Not on. If I turn it on, Okay. You can see it's on. 
now the Vita acts like a Vita TV. So yeah, I can totally let's um you know press X. All right. And, and I could totally start playing any of these games. It's at radio, metal gear, whatever. Just to show you real quick. I'll load up this game real quick. Curse of the Moon. Fantastic game, by the way, if you're kind of in uh, Castlevania fan. And the FPS counter there on the top is just showing me the FPS I'm getting. For the game, anyway. So this is just me using, you know, the video, video controller. I'm actually using the uh, OBS preview to see the game right now. I'm actually not looking at the video. But I'm just showing you that this is one of the cool things you can do. You can use, you, you can actually do this with the DS3 as well, which is the PlayStation 3 controller. Oh my, my cam's in the way of the character. There. See? But yeah, you could totally play the game. So, I want to show real quick that this is something you could do with a fully hacked Vita. And, and you can have the Vita screen output to your uh, computer, monitor, or laptop, whatever screen you want to play it on. Obviously, this game is available on Steam, but I'm just using it as a quick example. Okay, so I can press the PS button, hold circle, close that out. And this is cool. This is a benefit you get to either soft modding, meaning uh, partially modding your Vita uh, software-wise, or fully putting a uh, custom firmware on it. This is one of the benefits. And to show you which plugins you'll need and what I'm doing uh, is uh, load up auto plugin here. Now I've gone back to just using the Vita screen. Here's auto plugin loading. Go to Vita plugins. Uh, we'll just uninstall real quick. So that's storage manager. This allows me to copy my backups. So let's say PSM went down, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this here lets this particular plugin, the uh, UD CD is the one that allows me to output the Vita by USB cable into OBS like I'm doing it right now. And then that's the CPU changer, which yeah, you could get a little bit uh, stable performance out of it. And there's the DS4 to Vita plugin, basically. And these, these plugins are, are, are all like in here. So you would go to install plugin. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, you know, the CPU, you know, you would select that, select, you know, DS4 Vita. Uh, there's my frame counter. Uh, that's how I get the FPS to show up. So this way, in case I'm ordering, you know, just our curiosity, like, oh, what, what's the frame rate of this game? Um, that's, that's to remove the things to, you know, copy your backups in case you don't have internet access. Or, you know, PSN's down. There's the output driver, video output driver, which is what I'm using now to, you know, do this recording. So, so that's a little bit of everything that's going on. That's it. So, um, yeah, so basically, once you have all that installed, once you've done all the prep work and you have your, you know, your micro to SD card in there and the plugins installed. Yeah, you can do some cool, st pretty cool stuff. Uh, this is probably more noteworthy for if you're like streaming to YouTube or Twitch and you want to uh, show your gameplay, especially for Vita games. This is really good. Uh, uh, so... For the video output, I probably should mention is that I found that when I went from the soft mod to the fully custom firmware for the Vita, that the frame rate in terms of outputting through USB became more, um, better improved. 
And I'm assuming because the RAM in the Vita that was being used to do the, you know, to send that data out, I'm assuming that I, I don't have the actual uh, knowledge of knowing what was causing the issue. But I'm assuming whatever system resource was being used by the uh, soft mod, then meaning what again what I mean by soft mod is that it's not the hard hack. Um, it was kind of hurting the plugin. Once once I've done once I made the plunge and did the hard hack, which is the more permanent one, then it improved. So if you're planning to do the whole, you know, DS4, want to use you know one of these on your Vita and put it out towards your uh, computer monitor and all that, then yeah. And as for in case you're wondering, oh, yikes, didn't mean for that to happen. I did it too soon. So we'll switch here. So as you can see, the audio jack, which is just a male to male 3.5 uh, cable. Uh, but the thing you'll need, if I can grab it, do, 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 do. This is this thing. This is a uh, ground loop isolator. This is what cleans up the sound. Removes all that bu unnecessary buzzing. Um, and you get nice clean audio like I'm getting here in the video. And so that's how you get that. I'll have a link. I'll have Amazon affiliate links to the stuff I've shown here in this video. Um, if you use them, just know that uh, whatever kickback I get, which at no cost to you, uh, the change I get from uh, being Amazon, uh, s signed up as an Amazon affiliate, uh, goes to help me getting groceries with my EBT, EBT card. So, yeah, there's that. So, just to show real quick. Uh, so, here on the left side is output, right side is input. So, on the input side, you would plug in your audio cable from the Vita and then the output side goes into your line in jack on your computer or laptop again uh, your computer may ask you if it's a what source it is mine's a multi jack so it asks me There you go. <laughs> and so that's it, really. But yeah. Um, yeah, all the guides, the tutorials that you'll need to do this. Do it. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of YouTubers have been saying, Oh man, get these rare games off PSN before blah, 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 right? No, don't. There, 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 there's other ways. <laughs> Um, of getting those games, of getting those backups. And I'll have that all linked down in the description below. I will not do a guide on this only because guides change all the time, literally. Okay, before I end this video, I will do one thing. All right, so go into settings. Go into settings real quick. Let's go to devices. Bluetooth devices. So there's there's the DualShock 4, right? Because this because this one gets kind of confusing. So let's delete it. So it's in searching mode. So I'm going to put the Vita down for a second. How you put your... Just real quick. So here's the PS4 controller. Now you put it in Bluetooth Seek. You would hold down Share and the PS button until the light blinks. That means it's in Bluetooth uh, syncing or looking mode. So there, it's looking for it, or it's in uh, pairing mode. Let's switch back here. And so you're going to notice it says wireless controller on the screen. We're going to go ahead and uh, click on it. Please wait. 
Just showing you real quick how the pairing works. <sighs> uh, let me cancel it out real quick. Let me redo it. Actually, yeah, let me cancel it out real quick. Let me restart it. Um, the PS4 controller real quick. Turn it off. Now it's ticking again. And click on wireless controller. I might have to turn it off the Bluetooth and then turn it back on. Because I had it already synced up. And I think the video is getting a little confused. Yeah. Sorry what it is. Search your wireless controller. Either that or I might have to reboot the video. That might be the case. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm, I've unsynced. There's a weird... Uh, Thing that kind of happens and I kind of want to show it here wow all right all right let's go into settings here let's drop bluetooth go ahead and back real quick go ahead and reboot the video real quick or off this is gonna be a hard it has to be a hard like turn off and turn back on So there's the icon showing that the you know Vita's like completely hacked because it has a custom firmware on it. So it takes a couple of seconds for it to boot up. All right. Back to here. Oh, this is being dumb again. I love technology, right? All right. Go back to uh let's see. Turn on Bluetooth. Go back to settings. Go to devices. Bluetooth devices. Okay, so the Vita is now in searching mode. Turn on the PS4 controller back into sharing mode. Come up here as a wireless controller. So as you can see, it automatically paired. It says, do you want to register Bluetooth device, device name? No name. Just hit OK. It's going to say an error has occurred. That's fine. All right. And as you can see, I have the controller in my hand here. No problem. It works now. Switch to the main camera real quick, just to show you that it is working. Like, get the lighting just right. There you go. So as you can see, I can't do any of that. Well, not touching the screen. <laughs> Trying to juggle you know, the controller and the bit at the same time. So, okay. So as you can see, moving the circle, page up, page down with the PS4 controller. And that's the error you might run into, and that's fine. If it tells you that it, you have ran into an error, it's totally fine. You know, it's to be expected. So I just wanted to show that here real quick on how to resolve that. And that's it. So again, everything, all the links you'll need, all the information on how to hack your Vita will be down in the description below. And I will list off all the plugins you need. Just understand that, you know, follow these guides to, to the letter. If you don't follow them to the letter, then it's on you. What I mean by it's on you is if you mess it up and you don't follow those guides to the letter, then you know what? and something happens to your console, that's on you, okay? I, a homeless person, you know, can easily hack my Vita. Like, I don't know, for those of you that are not homeless, if you can't do it, oh, that's on you, you know, that's all I'm saying, it's on you.